learning. In high school, I came up with all sorts of ideas of how school could be better. And one idea I came up came to was having a not was a uh, having school was not having school as we know it, but just a giant library full of high quality texts, and have people who are not interested in all of those things, all of the, all that book learning, just go to a job training program and you know have educational choice, and it would emerge along those lines, you know, and it is something platonic, it is a crystalline vision of what it should be. And it would no doubt be a happier place. The current model of 20 to 30 kids in a room taught, um, taught a lesson by a teacher at a, at a board was just the best way to teach kids in the 1800 schoolhouses. And the institutional advancement through grades and rooms where specialties are learned is the Prussian model. If education was devised today, would we do this? Would we have the teacher at the board teaching a lesson with the dry erase markers, chalk? Children want to learn, and most of the people around me wanted to learn and get educated, but our education was crippled by our training. And that is what school is. It is training, not education. You are trained to learn events. You are trained to accept certain interpretations, and the propagandization is insane. And most people don't recognize the propaganda. They don't even recognize the things they have been propagandized on as being definite stances on issues. They don't recognize these as stances on issues, they just recognize it as uh, the truth, similar to how you don't recognize that you're um, in air, in the same way a fish doesn't recognize that it's in water. A great example is how the Constitution is assumed to be a brilliant document, or that the U.S. intervention in World War II prevented even worse tyranny than what happened. Those are things people are trained to believe. They are not learned. They are trained. And a narrative is imposed, and this narrative can work because it's imposed on almost everyone. But because it is at odds with the emergent order, you can see many cracks that cannot be dealt with but must be strictly denied. This can be done if everyone is denying it. But when voices rise up and cannot be responded to, well, you know, significant things are going to happen. Attacks on the Constitution cannot be dealt with by people. They shut down when they hear this. Uh, and because so many presuppositions imposed um, in the state education camps, we are stunted. Unless by some stroke of luck or brilliance, we're able to see through the narrative. But I digress. I assume you want to learn. No state means you can control your education. You control your education which means uh, you can spend those months in the library deeply studying. Or maybe it won't involve a library or book learning at all. There are many ways to deeply study the emergent order. We have the resources, we have the time, and you have the mind. The sharpness of your clothing can match the profundity of your mind. You know, and I walked through the halls of the camps and I see such waste of these education camps. The infrastructure could be used for so much more if it were just allowed to, if we were free to learn at our pace. And of course the state doesn't facilitate this. The schools exist in respond to demand from the population, of course. But the state merely took this energy and diverted it down a perverted path. Of course there will be football teams and gym gymnasiums uh, without a state. Sports before high school is proof of this. And this may not be your cup of tea, but the grand learning that could have been is something that I hate the state over.